The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. This story was set over by a Tzala guy in Rockland County. He said, a Tzala was, it was a Tzala call. They came in, a child who fell three stories from a balcony, from a balcony down to an area that was paved with stones. So Atala says, when we heard this call, we said this child has no life to survive. Three stories on a pavement balcony, impossible. It's crazy. They come to the scene and they're in shock. They're ready to call the Chabad before they got there. He says, we get to the scene and we see that this child's body was completely intact. Completely conscious. And we immediately transferred, transported this child by helicopter to the hospital. And he received his attention from the doctors. There were experts in this type of injury. After a short period of time, the child was back on his feet like nothing ever happened. And the doctors, everybody who was present, they didn't understand how it's possible this kid survived such a great fall. So he sent an investigator to give his opinion. What happened? After a thorough investigation, the investigator said, he could explain exactly what happened, what saved the child's life. He says, this house was originally was a one-story building. It is floors were added onto this house at a later time. But for some weird reason, the original gutter, which has no use of any more, was never taken off. And they left it on this building. He says, it's weird, but that's what they did. He says, you know what happened? When this child fell down from the third floor, his clothes got entangled with what was sticking out of the gutter which stopped his fall for about a half a minute. After that, he fell to the ground. It was one story. So the impact was from a single story building and not a three story building. Sam was like, wow, interesting. What's behind this Misa? Why wasn't the original gutter taken off by construction? The Misa goes that 20 years years earlier, the owner of the house decided to add two stories to this house. And he went to Ramesh and Aishlos, who then was the, the Av Bezin in Skver. He asked him, he says, Rebbe, am I allowed to take off gutters? He says, no. He says, you're not allowed to take off these gutters. We know there's a Tzavo for Rebbe Huda Chassid, he can't take off gutters. And the guy argued, he said, Rebbe, he says, the gutters there without a purpose. It's an eyesore, or it looks terrible for the house. But Ramesh remained with his Psak, he says, no. That's it. Buddha Chasid. This guy says, for 20 years, this gutter stayed there without any purpose, only to be Makayim the Tzavar Buddha Chasid. He says, but now it became very clear by listening to Das Torah, my son's child, this child's life was saved. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.